Gamers are a special breed of human. Some have small hands, others only play MOBAs meaning we should never approach them in public and they all require a different mouse. I'm going to recommend the best mouse for every type of gamer and getting this right is important or you'll spend hundreds of dollars on mice you don't need. Starting with the rarest gamer, as most gamer species spend up to 8 hours a day in their room they won't understand this next word, working. There's times during the working hours where you can sneak in a quick game of your choice that will distract you from the fact that you'll be working into your late 80s so you need a mouse that can do both. This mouse is irreplaceable for me as a working gaming mouse. If you're someone that likes to play games at work or play work at games then the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro is for you. The unlockable scroll wheel that also tilts is something that I cannot live without. It's comfortable to use but it is heavy at 112 grams so I don't play a lot of games with this mouse as waving this thing around a mouse pad for an extended duration isn't very good for your arm. However, this is the best option for a mouse that can be used for both work and gaming. If you're a worker, it normally means you're an adult and so you have big manly hands or big girly hands. So you'll need a mouse that can facilitate your slabs of meat. And there is no alternative to this one. There are other big mice to choose from but they have either too many buttons or have loads of gaps to gather dirt. So the undisputed gaming mouse for fully developed adults is the G403 or the 703 if you want wireless. This mouse is tall at 43mm and with the combined length of 124mm and its 68mm width you get a really nice hold on the mouse. However some people didn't eat their veggies as kids. They had chicken nuggies instead. I really do like chicken nuggets. They're good. In the past year, there have been a few releases that could be good for those with small hands. Since I can't shrink my hands, here's a few recommendations. The Lambs of Atlantis Mini if you want an ambidextrous mouse which is 117mm long, 63mm wide and 37mm tall. The Vaxi Zegan NP01S if you want something that provides a little bit more support to your hand. This is 120mm long, 63mm wide and 37mm tall. Or if a short mouse length is really important, the Fantech Aria XD7 which is just 114mm long, 65mm wide and 39mm tall. But it's not how big or small your hands are, it's how you hold it. As some people with big hands like small mice and vice versa. The first type of specific mouse holders have a superiority complex. They'll regularly share you the exact size of their hand without you ever asking for it. And any mouse that closely resembles the soon to be released Trust Me Bro is coming any day now Endgame Gear XM2 is normally met with the response of is this my new endgame. Until that mouse is released there's plenty of similar options available. My pick for this one is a mouse that I haven't actually reviewed but this will feature heavily in a future video. The Ninjutsu Sora 4K is the best mouse for claw grip. This mouse has some significant advantages outside of the 4000Hz polling rate and that is the optical switches which at the moment are the best opticals I have used. The dimensions on this one sits a bit below in comparison to the other claw grip choices like the Lamzu Atlantis with this one being 121mm long, 65mm wide and 37mm tall and this one is also one of the lightest at just 47 grams. Despite me not being a native claw grip user this mouse is probably one of the first that makes me wish I was. But just when you thought you couldn't hold onto a mouse any less a new type of gamer arrived. These lot don't like any part of the mouse touch in their hand so the pick for this type of gamer is a no brainer. This is weird to look at but it's probably self explanatory. It's not the de facto fingertip grip mouse as a lot of purists feel side buttons are a waste of space. What makes this the go to choice is that you can't really get anything but your fingers on it. Dimensions wise this thing is tiny is still a bit longer than my peak with it being 73mm long, 56mm wide and 29mm tall. So the G-Wolves HSK Pro is an obvious choice. The only requirement to actually use it are two fingers. But if you don't want a mouse that has the same structural integrity as a piece of spaghetti, we'll now move on to the more distinguished mouse holders. When they buy a mouse they make sure they use as much of it as possible. Look at all this surface area you are paying for, you might as well get your money's worth. An easy choice again would be the G403 or 703 but those two mice don't really compare to the previous two mice that I chose for the inferior mouse holders. You want something a bit more updated. That leads me to one of the best mice that has come out this year. 
The Lamzu Thorn is lightweight at around 52 grams, and despite its short length of 119 millimeters, there's still plenty of room in the mouse for my whole hand. It supports 4000 Hz polling rate, dongle sod separately. It has optical switches and a fantastic ergonomic shape that your hand really gets up against. Trust me when I say that this is one of the best mice for palm grippers to come out this year. Now remember when I talked about the type of gamers one should never approach in public? You know who I mean, League of Legends and Dota 2 players. Well these sociopaths need a mouse as well, and I'm speaking from experience when I say that it needs to meet the following criteria. One is good build quality as they could launch the mouse across the room at a moment's notice. Two is comfort as MOBA players can play for an infinite amount of time and they will outlive the universe purely out of spite. Some prefer extra buttons but I've never felt like I've needed them when I played Dota 2. But let's say that you do need them. This mouse comes from a brand that used to make some of the best gaming mice of all time. Now though they're a bit shit. The SteelSeries Aerox 5 Wireless I genuinely think is a good mouse for MOBAs. It's 74 grams, ergonomic with a comfortable shape and it has a thumb button. And look, there's even a flappy paddle included. It's also quite robust despite the holes, so when you pass out and launch your mouse at your monitor, you may not have to buy a new mouse. It might just be the monitor. But you might think to yourself, well, I just want the best wireless mouse. Some of these are obviously wireless mice, but they're not the best wireless mouse. Most mice that I have tried don't have a battery life performance like this one. I hardly ever charge it compared to the other mice that I have used. And what makes this one one of the best is that it tells you how much power the mouse is used based on the configuration, and that's the Logitech G Pro Super Lite 2. In terms of user-friendly wireless performance, I think that this one is the best. It costs $160 though, so if you don't want to spend that much on a gaming mouse, well I do have an option for you as well. But first, and trust me on this one, when you hear the name, it is not a joke, this is a real product. I've seen other reviewers talk about it and so I thought I'd give it a go. First, it's just $42 for a wireless mouse with one of the best sensors on the market, the 3395, and KLGM 8.0 switches, that's a great price. And well, I might as well say it, it's called the Attack Shark X3. It's an amazing, cheap gaming mouse and it weighs just 49 grams. I guess the best description of it is it's a super light mini. And look, it's purple. We'd have to wait two years for Logitech to bring out a colour like this. But after going through all these gaming mice, you're probably wondering which one is the best overall. That's really hard because I think there's two at the moment that are contenders for the best mouse of the year. It's not actually the Super Light 2 though. It's the best wireless mouse from a functionality standpoint, but not overall. The best gaming mouse overall for me at the moment is the Lamzu Thorn. If I had a main, which I don't because there's so many mice to review, it would probably be this one. With the amazing shape, high performance, and at least in my copy, a flawless build quality, this is one of the best overall gaming mice for me. It is almost perfect. If that's not enough to convince you, you might as well watch the whole review whilst you're here. It's on screen now for you to watch.